Cesar Chavez, Friend to Farm Workers by Jerry Cipriano, illustrated by Nigel Dobbin. Cesar Chavez used his voice to become a leader in making sure farm workers were paid better and treated fairly. The Early Years Cesar Chavez was born in Yuma, Arizona on March 31, 1927. He grew up on a big family farm. Cesar's best friend was his younger brother, Richard. They rode horses, they played in the lake, they helped their father in the garden. Cesar's family had come to Arizona from Mexico many years before he was born. Cesar was not happy when he started first grade. Other children called him dirty because he had brown skin. Cesar's family was Mexican-American. They had lived in the United States since the 1880s. Still, people were not kind to them. Good to know. In 1848, Mexico sold land to the U.S. That, that land makes up most of California, Texas, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, and Wyoming. Hard Times When Cesar was 10, the land got very dry. It did not rain. Crops died. At first, the Chavez family was okay. They ate what they grew, but soon they could not keep their farm. Like many other families, they drove to California to find work. Many families drove to California to find work in the 1930s. Cesar's family became migrant workers. They moved from farm to farm to pick crops. The family moved many times. Cesar went to 35 different schools. He left school after the 8th grade. He wanted to help his family in the fields. Good to know. The Chavez family, all eight of them, earned 30 cents a day. Today, that would come to be less than $5. The Chavez family worked long hours. They lived in shacks with dirt floors. They shared a toilet and running water with others. Life was hard. They worked in the hot sun. They had no water to drink. They breathed in bug-killing spray. Cesar made up his mind, someday I will fix this. Leader of Farm Workers When Cesar was 19, he joined the Navy. Then, in 1948, he married and started a family. Chavez helped people in the community. He went on to form the United Farm Workers of America, or the UFW, in 1962 with a woman named Dolores Huerta. Good to know. The new union needed a symbol. Cesar and his cousin made the picture. The eagle stands for courage. Red stands for sacrifice. White stands for hope. In 1948, Cesar married Helen Favela. Together, they started a family. Chavez gave farm workers hope. He led marches. The UFW motto was, Si se puede. Yes, it can be done. Chavez did not support fighting. When workers were bullied, he would stop eating. Once he fasted for 25 days to show that he believed in peaceful protests. Strike for Rights In 1965, grape pickers went on strike. Chavez led 67 men on a 340-mile march to the California state capitol. They walked 15 miles a day for weeks. Other farm workers joined as they walked by. When they reached the capital, there were 10,000 farm workers. The strike lasted five years. People across the United States stopped eating grapes to show support. Finally, in 1970, the growers gave in. They signed a contract with Chavez. Farm workers would get more money. They would have better working conditions too. We honor Cesar Chavez. Cesar Chavez died on April 23, 1993. More than 30,000 people came to his funeral. In 1994, President Clinton honored Chavez with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. It is the highest honor a citizen can get. In 2003, a postal stamp was made to honor Cesar Chavez.